I call this area sanctuary. We just passed through the security gate, and to me, this is the area where once you go through the gate, the rest of your life is left behind you because this is like a protected area where you, you don't have to worry about all the things that you typically worry about, and it's just, it's nice. You sort of feel isolated from everything that you normally know, which I think is great. Welcome to About Time's home. This is, uh, this is where I come to go flying, and it's a good start, as you can see. Surrounded by planes, it's very exciting. You kind of get juiced up. years while most people were sleeping building this airplane so uh, there it's quite an accomplishment and uh, sometimes people will tell me they'll say things like uh, well is it still exciting and I always tell them every time I open the hangar door and I see the airplane for the it, it's like I'm seeing it for the first time it never gets old it's it's always in a tremendous sense of accomplishment uh, fo uh, folks say you know you don't know how lucky you are to have that plane and I tell them you know every time I leave my hangar and I'm taxiing out going out to the runway I always think this is amazing and what a gift and how lucky I am. So in any case, it's, it's absolutely everything I thought it would be. It's, uh, it's an incredible accomplishment. It's the reaching of a, a tremendous goal and a dream that I always had to build my own airplane. So it never wears off. And, and also what's amazing is, as Dr. Diane will see, when you pull out on the runway and you add gas and you start rolling down that runway, every time the plane leaves the ground, every time I'm like, oh my God, it's it's... It's that exciting. So it never gets old, never wears off, and every flight seems different. It's, there's no two flights that are the same, so it's, uh, it's always a really neat experience, uh, and I love it. We happen to be out here on a really nice, warm summer day where Dr. Diana wanted to go for a flight, and I'm really excited about it. So we're going to go around Stone Mountain. We're going to go up the west side of Lake Alatoona so we can see the lakes, and then we're going to go to North Georgia Mountains and back. So we'll take a nice little route around, so it should be fun.
question about a connection with your with the aircraft, and the connection is this, and it's quite amazing, really. Um, I usually tell people not to talk to me as I'm coming into land, and the, the reason being is there's a, a lot of senses are going. Every sense in your body is working, whether it's your visual, your hearing, you're literally feeling the airplane through your body, whether you're slowing down, going up and down, and you're constantly making lots and lots of minor adjustments to fly the airplane correctly to land, which is very critical. Um, and often when I'm coming in, one thing that's really neat about this airplane that's different than other airplanes is it's very, very responsive. So when you're flying and coming into land, or anytime you're flying this airplane, it's not like you're sitting in an airplane, you're wearing the airplane. The airplane is like an extension of your arms and your body. Every little movement you do with a stick, you feel it. And when you're coming into land, every fiber in your body is kind of feeling what the plane is doing, moving through the air mass. And it's, it's really amazing how uh, you can become like one with the plane and while you're coming into land, all of the minor adjustments, whether it's the rudder, the throttle, the pitch, there's just a lot of things you're doing um, to correct yourself and make as smooth as landing as possible and a smooth approach. And it's it's really something that you almost can't explain unless you're someone like uh, Diane that got to fly the airplane and actually feel that. It's it's hard to describe. A lot of other airplanes, you don't really have that connection. It's the plane, you'll move the stick and like it seems like a half a second to a second later, the plane kind of banks to one direction. You just don't feel like you're wearing it. I, I feel like I'm one with the airplane flying and it's really kind of an amazing experience. It's, it's, it's amazing, so that's all I can say. And you want to kill it? Grab that and pull. Yeah. Now that was great. Thanks, Dr. Diane. You did a great job. Great flying. What's really amazing about going flying is often when I land, I almost feel like I need to go lay down for a little bit because it, flying, there, there's so many senses going. It's so taxing to your body when you're, you know, the, the emotions and the physical nature of feeling the airplane and flying, it, it, it's almost tiring. It is as exciting as and exhilarating as it is, you land and you feel it. I mean, you physically feel it. And for me, I often feel like I may land to pull out a chair and I'll like have a soda and just sit outside and just go, wow, what a great flight and let my body kind of regroup because often you've just been kind of going at every end. You, you don't really recognize it when you're flying, but when you land, your body goes, wow, what did you just do? It's, it's, uh, it's maxed out in, in the, uh, the senses and it's really, it's, it's very stimulating. I think that's what makes flying so exciting. It's very exhilarating.